Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a trick that might help you use the line and stacked column chart in Power BI. Basically, as the name suggests, um, the line and stacked ch column chart displays data like I've shown on my dashboard here. We have some data plotted as a line graph and in the background some stacked columns. Um, what the trick I want to show you is what can be difficult when using the line and stack column chart is the different categories of the columns don't always appear in the correct order. So let me explain um, how to get the correct order and what you're actually looking at on my dashboard here. So I've used the line and stack column chart for this example to display student test scores. So the line shows test scores for students across different years. I've got three different students which I can select with my slicer here and you can see how they've done in their tests and behind the line plot I've got um, kind of the grade that those different test scores might mean. So at the top um, you can see whether the score that the student got is a fail, a pass, a merit or as high as a distinction. And as you can already tell, um, those are in a mixed up order, they're not written in the same order that I listed them out. And it's not always important that they're in the right order when using this graph, but for something like um, this kind of grading, it is important that we would want to see the fail section of the graph at the bottom, and then stacked on top of that should be the pass section on top of that. Um, should be the merit and then at the, at the highest would be the distinction. So next I'm going to show you the source data behind this plot um, to show you how I've written the table. I've written the table in the order that I wanted it to be displayed so I've just got two tables. One kind of shows how the grading is broken down between fail, pass, merit and distinction. How the, how the stacked column likes it is these numbers add up to 100. So fail will be the first 50 scores and then pass the next 20 on top of that. Merit the next 20 on top of that and distinction the next block of 10 on top of that. And those are the same for every year. In my test scores, it's um, just basically a table, uh, student names and the score that they got for each year. So, so far um, I've put the grade class in the order that I wanted it to appear, but it hasn't appeared in that order um, in my plot. It actually orders itself alphabetically, so at the bottom is the distinction um, bar because it begins with D, and then fail is the next in the alphabet because it begins with F, and so on. So we need to figure out a way to order um, the stack column in a way that's not alphabetical. And there is a way to do that. So I'm going to transform my data up top. I just entered this data in manually, so it's quite easy for me to do this next step. I'm just going to edit the source. But essentially what you need to do is create a new column and this is going to be a column that is actually going to control the order of the stacked column chart. So I'm just going to call that order. And I'm simply going to number um, from 1 through to 4 what order I want the fail, pass, merit and distinction to appear in. So next to fail I'm going to write 1, that should be the first at the bottom. Pass should be 2, merit 3, and distinction 4. I could have used um, A, B, C and D because Power BI, as you've already seen, recognise alphabetical order as well as numerical order, but um, that will do for me. So once I've done that, I'm going to close and load. Nothing's changed yet, but now I can go over to my... Oops, just let load. And go over to my um, grading table over here and the grading class is one that um, the one that I want to order correctly. 
fail being the first, distinction being the last. And if I click on that column here, the column tools tab will t pop up at the top. And the next thing I want to do is go sort by column. So I'm going to sort my grade class, which I have selected, by the order column. If I click that and wait, now my, um, my stack bar charts are ordered correctly. So you can see fail is at the bottom, and pass, merit, and distinction. And that should be the same for all the students. So I hope that's been helpful. Thank you for watching. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to add to the comments below. Thank you.